Welcome to another episode of Microsoft Word 2003 tutorial. Today we are going to see how to include a combo box in Microsoft Word. So let's go to Microsoft Word. And for this tutorial you need a toolbox called Control Toolbox. If this toolbox is not visible, click on Tools menu, click on Customize and under Toolbox tab, make sure you put a tick mark right before the Control Toolbox. Then click on close. Always remember your combo box will appear right at the current cursor position. So as you can see when I click on the combo box it will appear at the current cursor position. So after adding the combo box I'm going to add a text right before the combo box. I want a yeah, space and the values for this combo box has to be specified so that the user can select some values from the combo box list. So to specify the values, I'm going to right click on the combo box and click on view code. In the top we have two drop down list. So first one says combo box one and document. Always make sure that you have combo box one here, which is the name of the combo box we have included in Microsoft Word. So coming back to Microsoft Visual Basic, the second drop down list has a lot of functions. Right now, as you can see, we have a default function here, but we don't need this function. We are going to add a new function. Make sure combo box one is selected in this drop down list. And you click on the second drop down list and select drop button click. Delete the top function that is combo box one underscore change function. We don't need that. So within the combo box one underscore drop button click, we are going to specify the list of values. So let's start by typing as combo box one dot list equals to array open bracket, which means we are going to give an array of values. So I'm going to give it as car space helicopter comma space jumbo jet comma yacht jetpack and that's it after typing this line just save it i'm going to give it as combo box tutorial let's close microsoft visual basic and in the control toolbox make sure you exit the design mode right now as you can see whatever we have mentioned in the array has appeared here so this is how you add combo box with a list of values in Microsoft Word 2003. Thanks for watching.